For food allergy sufferers, restaurant visits can be a stressful experience. For JC Ravel, it almost killed her after she ate what she thought was a safe meal. It felt like my skin was on fire, like it was crawling, and I knew that I could feel my face blowing up. It can lead to a life-threatening situation. It was supposed to be a simple meal out with her partner, but it nearly claimed JC Ravel's life. Any later, um, my throat would have closed up and I'm, I wouldn't be here today. For as long as JC can remember, she's always had to be extremely cautious when eating food. How bad is your allergy to nuts? It's life-threatening, yeah. That's what all the doctors have said. It's put me in hospital a few times and, um, yeah, it's, it can take away my life. So when JC went for a night out at a local restaurant in Byron Bay, she knew to ask detailed questions about the menu. So this is the menu that you ordered off? Yeah, it is. Um, it says wild caught smoked fish dip, chilli oil and organic hemp bread. And reading that, you wouldn't think that it would have any nuts in it. Despite the fact the dish doesn't list nuts, JC claims she still asked staff about the ingredients. She claims she was twice told it was safe for her to eat. But two bites in, she knew something was terribly wrong. And I had to ask another waiter if it did in fact have nuts in it and straight away he told me he had cashews in it. Grabbed my things and ran out the door. Uh, we went into, got into the car and I used my EpiPen, um, which initially delays the reaction. By the time JC got to the local hospital, she was in full anaphylactic shock. The scariest part initially was my throat closing up and worrying that I wasn't gonna be able to breathe. Shock can come on in a couple of minutes and can be very deadly if not treated aggressively at the scene. Dr Carl Ducks is an emergency specialist at the PA hospital in Brisbane. He says anaphylaxis is an immune disease where the body reacts abnormally to a trigger like nuts. If someone goes into anaphylaxis, an ambulance should be called immediately. JC spent the night in emergency being constantly monitored. Basically the immune system responds too aggressively and uh, it can lead to a life-threatening situation. A week after being discharged from hospital, JC came back here to the restaurant to suggest they rewrite their menu to include the fact the dish included cashews. She claims the staff were rude, with the manager even saying people with allergies shouldn't eat out at all because it's too dangerous. I think it was quite almost degrading in a way. Um, I didn't feel like I was another human he was talking to. Fed up with their response, she took to Facebook to post about her experience. So I thought maybe that would raise some awareness with them and maybe make them change something so it doesn't happen to someone else. While the reaction has been overall positive, others began trolling JC online. Someone has been spreading false accusations about me saying that I've tried to make compensation claims for the same reasons 13 times in Queensland and seven times in New South Wales before. I've never once before made a claim. A current affair has tried to contact the restaurant multiple times. You have reached the message bank of O2. But they never returned our calls and have even turned off comments on their social media accounts. We then went back to Byron Bay to ask in person but were told no comment. JC has since found out the restaurant doesn't even make the dip that caused her reaction themselves. They purchase it from um, a provider, another source, and they have since reached out to me and contacted me to just confirm with me that it is in fact a smoked tuna and cashew cream dip. She's now hoping by speaking out, it won't happen to anyone else. Change your attitude, change your menu. Yeah. Byron Shire Council told us restaurants must supply information to customers about allergens their food may contain. Council is now investigating after JC lodged a complaint.